Good morning everybody. I'm up here at Peace of Eden Homestead and I thought we could go check out the asparagus plants we planted earlier. Ooh, wait, hang on. Come check this out. Good morning little lady. How you doing this morning? It's okay if you're eating my grass. Just stay out of the garden, okay? Just another day in paradise. Good morning. Well, that little unexpected visitor kind of makes me step back and realize that it's not all about the work and all the hard stuff you got to do on the homestead. Sometimes you just got to stop and enjoy nature and even sometimes stop and smell the roses. Okay, after that nice little break, we're back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's head over and see how our asparagus plants are doing. They're over here on the far side of the garden. Ooh, they're going good. See that ferny plant there waving in the breeze? That's one of our asparagus plants. Let's come over here, there's an even bigger one. Alright, look how tall that one is. That's a good two feet tall. And it's spreading out nice and wide. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All twenty of them came up pretty happy with that looks like quite a few weeds came up too in the last three weeks we got a couple of beets here that we stuck in just to use up some of the space between the asparagus plants we'll see how those go and then some onions here doing real well too well, I'm very happy with the results of our asparagus. Let's go check out the existing asparagus plants that were here when we got the place. 
they're hiding over here behind the peach tree. Ooh, we got quite a few peaches growing on the tree. Had to do some major pruning on this tree early this spring. And I wasn't sure if we'd have any fruit, but there's some. They're getting pretty big. All right, so over here on the back edge of the garden, look at the size of these asparagus plants. If I would have known those were there before they came up, I probably would have gone ahead and harvested some. Jeez, this one's a good five feet tall here. And there's another one here. And this is the biggest one. This one's got to be six feet tall. Look at that. So we should get some asparagus harvest next spring from these ones. And then in a couple of years, we'll get some from those ones over there. I see here, there's some raspberries coming up too. So, oh, in a month or so, we should have some raspberries to harvest. And then... Look at the apple trees. These also were really in a state of disuse. <laughs> they needed some heavy pruning, but boy, there's a lot of apples on this one. Let's go check out the other one. I see a couple on this one. That one I'm just going to thin out because it's not making it. And then there's one over here. So we're looking all right so far in the garden. Since we already had those other two apple trees and that peach tree in the garden, and it was already fenced in, I went ahead and put in these four dwarf apple trees and these garden beds we can plant in between them for now. And they should stay small enough that they'll be all right here and won't shade out the bigger tree over here to its north. So we're looking forward to trying these new varieties. Seems like it's Pixie Crunch and Crunch a Bunch. And let me see what we have here. That one's the Crunch a Bunch. Well, that one's a Sundance, but boy, even though that we haven't we watered them in when we planted them, but we haven't been here to water them much since, they're doing very well. So I'm pretty excited about those ones. And since we're already out here in the garden, I thought we'd take a look at some of the other stuff coming up here. I'm really liking this uh, fabric weed barrier. We put these tomato plants out. They were really small. They didn't even have their first set of true leaves. It looks like some of them didn't make it. But we got one, two, three, four that are going strong. Whoops, there's five going strong in this bed. And then in this bed we have one, two, three, four. That one didn't make it. And there's a pepper plant and some more pepper plants down the row here. But hopefully we'll get some produce out of those. They're still pretty small and it's already June 27th, so we'll see. And as I'm looking at these, I see over here a nice little surprise under the apple trees. Some wild strawberries. They are smaller than my little finger. But boy, do they pack a flavor punch. There's some more over there and some over there. I'd like to have enough of those to make some jam, but it doesn't look like there's much more than just a nice little snack. So I'll get to that and move on. Well, that wraps up our garden tour. I have a little bit of weeding to do, but um, mostly just over by the asparagus plants. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Help us out a little bit with our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.